Hello, my name is Anna and I am a postdoc at Durham University. In this video, we are going to learn one of the ways through which galaxies can die. But first of all, what is a galaxy and what do we mean when we say that a galaxy is dead? A galaxy is a bound system composed by dark matter, stars, gas and dust in between stars. And all of those components are held together by gravity. So dark matter is the backbone structure of a galaxy. This is because it makes up most of a galaxy mass. Dark matter doesn't emit light, and so we cannot really see it with our eyes. This is actually the reason why we call it dark matter. We don't really know what dark matter is, but we know that it is different than the material all around us. Then we have stars, which are also objects held together by gravity, and they are composed mostly by hydrogen and helium. And stars shine because of the nuclear reactions that are happening in their center. Then we have dust, which is composed by heavy elements, and gas, which is mostly hydrogen. And those are distributed in between stars. Gas in particular is not one of the major components of a galaxy mass. In fact, if we consider galaxies in the nearby universe, gas is about 5 to 10% of the total mass of a galaxy. However, gas is extremely important for the life of a galaxy because this is the raw material from which new stars are formed. In fact, the gas into galaxies can become very dense, that it starts collapsing under its own gravity. And the gas continues collapsing and it becomes denser and denser until it reaches a point in which the temperature and densities are so high that nuclear reactions can start. So you see, gas, it's really important. It, it is the lifeblood for galaxies. So without gas, a galaxy is dead because it can no longer form new stars. In this image, we can see one example of how an active galaxy looks like. This um, galaxy has a sort of a disk shape and the gas is uh, um, located into this disk. So here the gas is converted into new, uh, new stars and this is what we can tell if we look at the color of the galaxy. In fact, this, is the, this bluish color is the indication that new uh, stars, very massive, are being formed. This image now shows an example of how a dead galaxy looks like. This is really different from how um, a star forming galaxy looks like. It is roundish and it has an orangish color and this orangish color is what is telling us that this galaxy is dead. In fact this galaxy is not uh, forming stars anymore and is composed by um, older stars hence the color. So one of the ways to which galaxies can pass from an active star forming phase to a dead phase is through the merger with a companion. During the course of their life galaxies can get close between each other. And if they get close enough, the gravitational interaction between the two can cause them to uh, merge into a single object. So now we can uh, see how this merger can cause the death of a galaxy with the help of a movie. So this movie is from a computer simulation and it will tell us what happens to the gas into galaxies when they merge. So the color here in this movie represents the distribution of the gas. But first, let's have a look at the movie to see what happens to the two galaxies when they merge. So at first, we see that the two galaxies are far away from each other, but they start to interact. And because of this interaction, they uh, start to spiral around each other. So we see in the movie that the two galaxies are entangled in this beautiful dance. They get close, but they move far away from each other again but eventually they get closer and closer until at the end they will form a single object. And the single object will have a very different shape than the two galaxies before the merger. Now let's rewatch the movie, but this time let's pay attention to the color. Here the color is uh, indicating the density of the gas. The yellower the color, the denser the gas. So we see that the gas is deeply affected by the interaction 
and it actually has a very uh, messier shape at the end of the movie. Let's now stop the movie at the end of the merger and let's have a look at the distribution of the gas into the merged galaxy. The first thing that we can notice is that there is a lot of gas that has been driven to the center of the newly formed object. Here the gas is very yellow and this means that it's very dense. So in this region the gas has been efficiently converted into new stars. The other thing we can notice is that uh, there is other gas that has been expelled from the newly formed galaxy. And this gas has been expelled through those streams which are very elongated and then that we call tidal tails. So a merger can cause the galaxy to run out very quickly of gas because part of it is being efficiently consumed into newly formed stars and part of it is efficiently expelled be, um, because of those tidal tails. Now, this movie is based on a theory, and as all theories, those need to be either proved, proved or uh, falsified. And my job as an observer is to look at the real universe and see whether those theories can be proved or not. Of course, I cannot really follow the whole evolution of a merger with my observations because a merger takes a lot of time to happen. So I can look at snapshots of um, a galaxy life and see if uh, they resemble the snapshots from the movie that we just seen. So now the question is, do we observe um, galaxies that are about to die because of a merger in the real universe? And the answer is yes. And uh, we can answer to this question thanks to the discovery of a particular object, which is called ID2299. So this galaxy is a galaxy of the distant universe, and it is the result of the merger of two galaxies. And we observed this object at a particular stage of its life. In fact, we observed it just after the two galaxies have merged into form a single object and just at the moment in which this object is launching a huge tidal tail. And through this tidal tail, this galaxy is losing a significant fraction of its galaxy mass, almost 50%. The other 50% of the gas in this object is still in the galaxy but it is confined into a very small region and it is very dense. And here this gas has been converted into new stars at a very efficient rate. And we estimate that this rate at which this gas is converted, is converted into stars, it's about 500 times faster than our Milky Way galaxy is forming new stars. So we estimate that the combination is this, of this very efficient star formation and this expulsion of gas because of the tidal tail will cause the galaxy to quickly run out of the gas and to die in about 10 million years. And here in this image you can see an artistic representation of this galaxy with its huge tidal tail, which is this stream of uh, gas um, that is expelled from the object. Now something similar will also happen to our galaxy, the Milky Way, that it is on a trajectory to collide with our neighbor, the Andromeda galaxy. But this won't happen anytime soon, we will need at least four to five billion years before the two galaxies start interacting and merge into a single object. So in the meantime, we can enjoy another movie that simulates the get-together between the Milky Way and Andromeda. In this other movie, we also see the two galaxies that get close and because of the merger, their shapes are um, heavily distorted. And at the end, also these two objects will form a new galaxy, which is bigger and also has a more messier shape than the galaxies before the merger. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like to it. Thank you.